Hey guys, welcome back to FTB Skies episode 3. Guys, in this episode, we are getting energy. There's so many options, but as you can see behind me, there are some sheep. Sheeps? Sheep? Sheeps? Anyways, and you can use them to get energy. So that's what we're doing in this episode to begin with. The first thing I need is a mandrill sapling. Let's make two. Mm -hmm. Noise. Now from the mandrill sapling or the mandrill tree, you get a few things. And these are saplings, crystallized mandrill chunks, mandrill logs, mandrill berries. And of course, stuff like, like this, which we don't really need. But we need six of those, I believe. No, we need much more. We need two energy batteries, which need one of them needs six plus 18, which is 24. Oh my God. So we need 48 for two batteries. And then from the batteries, we need a mechanical squeezer, which is actually okay. So we need 48. Well, let me get that. Right, guys, this should be the final three harvest right now. Let's see. This should be relevantly easy. Wait. Oh, no. We need even more. Of course. We need five more. We need five more. So, I think I got this. I got this this time. Like a so. This goes uh, like a so, but... Oh, yeah. And we need obsidian, obsidian. I definitely have some obsidian. All right. Mechanical squeezer. Very nice. Now, this thing needs energy. Can I give it energy? Providing my shears. About like a so. Oh, nice. Very nice. Now, now, if I use this wood, the mandrill logs, this is perfect. I get even more. That's fantastic. So that's much better than cutting down the tree. Mandrill resin. What do I do with that? Can I do anything? Oh, noise. That's actually very good. Drying basin. How do I get that? That seems easy. Let's get one of those. All right. This was easy. There's also a mechanical drying basin, but we need more of those, which we actually, I believe we can make them because we got so much out of this. We'll need two redstone blocks. Four of those, I believe. We'll go like a so. Very nice. And these, nope, they go like what? Oh, wow. It makes it better. That's amazing. Anyways, and that's a mechanical drying basin. Throw it. Right, guys. And if you're wondering how I got energy in the energetic shears, which are made by using energetic wool, the energetic wool, oops, you get by using normal shears on the energetic sheep. Now, if you shear the energetic sheep with the shears you get energy in the shears which is amazing and as you can see i can collect energy from them and stick it in the integrated dynamics machines they should transport the mandrill liquid here that's amazing and i guess one of these is nine of these this is perfect the next thing i need is an energy importer so we'll need an energy interface and input variable transformer and that's a lot of things <laughs> hold on let me craft them all right first First thing first, energy interface attaches an energy holder to the network. Noise. I have no idea what that does, but we'll get back to it. Then, variable cards. I have no idea what that does. Let's take a piston, and I think we go like as though. And if we combine the energy interface and the input variable transformer, we get an energy importer. Now, let's actually get one of those things again. The energy batteries and the energy importer. And test it out on the ship. Right. This is a noob test. I've placed the energy battery battery and i place the uh, logic cable what is that part enhancement <laughs> right why am i getting part enhancements every time i place this down is this a bag hmm. right guys i think i made the wrong thing we don't need an energy importer we need a world energy importer but we got the energy importer and then we need a logic director which needs this we have but we need crystallized chorus chunks you can get it from popcorn fruit but we don't have any yet but we can make some protocorals protocorals right oh my god what oh hello bye right uh, we will need some of those and some of those i mean let's make you like a soul action and then protocorals is that what we do mechanical squeezer yes 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 is it not working right because we got liquid mandrill i guess let's see if it fixes right it did work but it wasn't enough three i need six right let me make more that is perfect perfect seven is okay and then we go like a soul and like a soul nice energy imported 
importer. Combine that with the logic director and we get the word energy importer. Let's test this out. All right. Oh my God. Is it work? It's not working. It did drop something. Hmm. What if I push this here? Ah, oh, sheep. This doesn't seem to be working. All right. Let's make a logic cable. Perhaps it will assist us. Maybe it won't. We'll see. Hmm. Nothing is happening. Import energy uh, from entities. Yes. Yes. Just do it, please. Alright guys, I figured it out. This mod is actually very nice, but very difficult, I guess. But anyways, if you put a variable card into this, accept all energy from all entities. So you basically right click the logic cable and put a variable card here. Then we've got energy. And so far we got 41k from one sheep. Now I assume it will eat grass and it will regain its energy. Wait, is that 41k from all of them? Huh. 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 All right, guys, I want to transfer the ships. Now, I unfortunately, I don't know any other ways other than the mop imprisonment tool. And it needs plastic. Plastic needs dry rubber. Dry rubber needs tiny dry rubber, which is made in a latex processing unit. We also need a fluid extractor. There you go. And I want to get some acacia, acacia from the market. Let's do that right here. And where's our emeralds? Oh, that's only a few. That's unfortunate. Then we go here. Acacia. Very nice. Thank you, kind sir. Actually, we can place him here. No, we can't. I'm sorry, dude. Um, right here should be okay. Right. Fluid extractor. Quite easy. Pretty machine frame. Right. I'll make those fluid extractor and latex processing unit. I will get some latex which will be made into tiny dry rubber and then we will combine these nine pieces of tiny dry rubber into a dry rubber smelt it down into plastic and i will need four to make a mop imprisonment tool all right guys the fluid extractors are done and if you're wondering why i made acacia it's because it's the best wood to get latex and these guys should make us some latex very slowly as always unless we use the time in a bottle is it working I don't think it is. Uh, maybe it needs water. Yeah, it definitely needs water. All right. Kitchen sink or just sink. All right. Kitchen sink or sink of cooking or blockheads. Quite easy to make. An infinite water source. And if we place this right here, of course, we need to set this to output. All right. And let's uh, speed this up. Bit. And yeah, we don't have enough energy, which is unfortunate. Oh, we did have enough. That's amazing. Fantastic. Uh, no, we didn't. We need oh, three more pieces like that. I think we've got enough. Perfection. We got even one more, which is nice. All right. All right. All right. Let's melt it right here. Yeah, this should do it. And then a gas tier. And this should give us a mob imprisonment tool. All right, guys. Well, it's been some time. <laughs> but we got a few sheep. Now, next step is to make 20 or 19 more world energy importers. Let me do that. All right, guys. Well, we made them, but is it worth it? Is it worth it? Anyways, we'll see soon. Uh, what I'm going to do is actually place one of those, uh, not like that, like a so. Yeah, this should do it. Is there a sound muffler? That's the reason. This was a logic cable, by the way. I'm going to do the same in front of each sheep. Well, this is getting noisy. Uh, we'll need more of those, actually. This should be fine. I've placed an energy battery with 5 million FE. I've basically combined a few batteries to get that. And if we go like a so... <laughs> All right. Well, uh... As you can see, the process has started. All <laughs> the ships <laughs> have been sheared. And this guy too, I guess. Boom. Yeah. As you can see, there is grass here in between the places where the sheep can eat. So the grass will grow back. These guys will eat. They will grow their wool back. And that way we will get some energy. And yeah, this cycle was... Oh. See, we're getting energy. Not much, to be honest. But uh, yeah, I think it's okay for now. All right, guys. Well, I'm about to go insane. So I think this will help us. No, no. Huh. How does this work then? Muffles nearby sound when unpowered. Well, this is not powered. This doesn't seem to work. Options, music and sound. Friendly creatures. Set. 
very nice by the way guys i was wondering why do i get things like that the can you see in the middle of the screen next to the cross here you get some arrows so that these arrows mean that you place the block next to this one and then this is the best if you point to this block and get those guys i don't even know how you call them square parentheses these guys place the blocks underneath the block you're looking at which is fantastic because i want to get the delightful dirt because i thought i needed a dinghy to be 24 blocks away from me but it doesn't actually when you've got uh, delightful dirt hello oops that was a mistake and hopefully if i go like a soul with my silk touch remember you need silk touch to get this uh, uh, right i will vein mine that and hopefully i get everything Yep, I did get everything. Bye! <laughs> nice! The Mimic! That guy drops artifacts. What is that? Panic necklace. Increases the wearer's movement after taking damage. Nothing special. Alright guys, well, uh, I didn't want to record, but since this happened, I'm building the passive mob farm right here. And I'll be back. So guys, slightly carried away. <laughs> Small base revamp. I move the compact machine. It's here. It's the throne. It's the start. And then I've started doing this thing. This will be passive mobs. That side will be hostile mobs. And then these guys are doing amazing. It's been about uh, maybe an hour and a half. And yeah, we almost have 12 million power. That's amazing, guys. I didn't move that. I didn't want to waste time. So the idea is I've got the mob finds uh, showing you guys how this will work basically this guy this guy right here has two mob fun width upgrade which means that once i replace this dirt with a delightful dirt all the passive mob spawns will come in this way there's clear glass the mobs will bang into the clear glass fall down and then this fan will push them into the center where i will have a mob musher and i'm guessing it will go I think that works if not i'll, I'll collect it and this guy needs upgrades such as sharpness and looting this guy also needs upgrades this guy needs the band distance upgrade we'll need a few actually and i'm not sure if it's gonna be enough right and i might move this like downwards first thing i need is this guy an eye of ender then i need a hopper a hopper by the way if you type in hopper and just double click here this becomes yellow and then you basically all the items that do not contain hopper in their name get slightly dimmed while the hopper items get highlighted so if i want to find something quick that's the best way to do it or for me at least perfect i have a chest that means i can make a hopper all right and then backpack one two three and I believe it goes like a so. No, maybe like a so. Yes, that's the recipe. Absorption hopper. Guys, this thing is amazing. It is very useful for what I'm about to build. Next thing is some um, upgrades for the fan. Okay, I've placed them wrong. Now, how much distance? So by default, the distance is five blocks. Now, if I put this... Wait, what? Hello? Let me remove that. Okay. The lantern was blocking it. That was five. One, two, three. So each upgrade is one distance. Hmm. One, two, three. I mean, I've got vector plates. That is uh, okay too, right? So we can go just like a so. And this will bring the mobs into the mob musher. All right, guys. So this is what it looks like. A fan upstairs will push mobs into this tunnel. The vector plates will slowly, because these are the first level vectors, will slowly push the mobs into the mob musher. Then I've got an absorption hopper. And if I show you the area, the area is all around here. So the drops will be gathered. It also gathers XP. So the XP will go into the fluid tank from this pipe. Unless there is a thingy. Oh, hold on a sec. None. So let's test this out. I'm throwing my pipes. Perfect. So you don't even need the pipes. That's amazing. Right. Now this thing needs a redstone signal to work. We will make the upgrades eventually, but not now. And the last thing, guys. How do we prevent grass from spawning? I think I'm going to try the good old method of a dispenser. All right. And we'll need a bucket of water. Now let's see. Oh my god. I need 
Oh no, we'll figure it out later. Dispenser here, bucket of water. Let's test this out. <laughs> oh no. Well, that didn't quite work out. So, we need to find a way to clear the grass, the growing grass. Hmm. Alright guys, well, it's a bit late. I'm going to sleep on it and see what I can do. Alright guys, so... Perfect, that actually works for the grass. That is amazing. Let's close this up. Bye. And we can use this redstone clock, I guess. Let me just make it real quick. Replace this here. What happens if we do this? Oh my god. That's definitely not what we want. I mean, this is kind of fine. Even if we go 100, that should be perfect. And guys, we got four buckets of experience. Now, what do I need to get this thing? Hold on a sec. The GM chicken feet cursed. We need a bone, a spider eye, rotten flesh and gunpowder. Now, is there a way to get any of that? No, I guess we have to build a small mob farm. Let's do that. Right, guys, we got a skeleton. Nice. And we didn't get a bone. I didn't use this sword. This is fantastic. A zombie. Nice. No, no. Oh, nice. It didn't do, do much damage. We got nothing. Huh? Spiders. Yes, yes, yes. Very nice. Oh, hello there. Very, very nice. Hello, spiders. Please drop an eye. Yes, come here, come here. I need an eye. Please, please. Yes, we got an eye. That is perfect. Fantastic, guys. Perfect. Fantastic. Now, all we need is a skeleton. Guys, a skeleton. Oh, my God. If he drops a bone, that would be amazing. Please, no bones. Actually, guys, I remembered we had bones. And it was the fisher that gave us bones. And we got eight. We just need one. All right, guys. So, we should be able to make that amazing. Now this, we've got a chicken. Now hopefully, if I just break this and give it to it, perfect. So we should get the egg. Yes, we did get the rotten egg. We should be able to just place here. Oh my god, close this up. Turn this on. And I think that's a mob farm. A hostile mob farm. Yeah, it's working. Nice. Oops. Oopsie doops. No, no, no. Please die before you go way too far. Right, we need to close this down. Oof. Hold on. Oh no. This is bad. I don't have a bow. Or do I? Skeletons? No bows. Please come here. Alright, this time I got you. I got you. <laughs> nice. Right, guys, to complete the farm, we need the ender inhibitor. I'll make a few. Let's make three. Goes like so, then we go like so. Nice. And now we place one here and one here, maybe one here as well, right here. Yeah, that should do it. Let's kill the ones that escaped. Right, guys, if you want to take out the XP out of your fluid tank, you can place an XP tap, which is easily made with one obsidian and three iron. Now, let's see. I've got a few levels. Let's close this. Speed is nice. Haste is nice, but I think they need a lot of levels. Jump boost, we don't want. Speed and haste, let's see, speed. Yeah, and you just click here, left click, and now you've got speed. Same with haste, perfection, and then I had some here. Step assist, water breathing is noise, haste, and speed. All right, let's get water breathing, noise, speed, perfection, conduit power, I don't know what's that, and haste. Nice, now we got speed. And haste level three. Oh, that's nice. I think that's yeah, that's very nice. So, guys, oh my god, this is so beautiful. Anyways, guys, I went AFK for about two hours. We went for dinner with my wife, had a, a liter of frozen margarita, and I'm feeling good. Gucci. And yeah, I've set this up and I went AFK, got some levels, got some items. Nothing much special, to be honest, but I've uh, gathered up the nice abilities that we have. Let's check them out. Power Star, push away anything he's looking at. Anyways, let's add speed. I want more speed. That is perfect. I think that's speed. Yeah, speed level 5. That's amazing. What is this? Speed we don't need. Speed, 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 speed. Alright, hunger, weaver, luck, mining fatigue. I have no idea. Power stair. I don't want, actually. Luck and speed. Alright, hunger. In it. Uh, we don't need that. 
we don't need that that is cool we'll get that no huh well that's nice and luck we will use all right everything else goes back into the abilities chest and also we got some spoils back now when we will upgrade this to looting we'll definitely get more all right let's see what we get in the spoil bags nothing much special hmm Ooh, night vision goggles feral clothes Horse meats, what is that? Before I go, 30 million out of 64 million FE. That is amazing. Anyways, guys, I really hope you enjoyed the episode. It's been a nice one. We did some energetic ship power. Then we did the passive and the hostile mob farm. We will upgrade that in the next episode. Most likely, we will do storage. And yeah, I really hope you enjoyed, guys. If you did like the video, please leave a like. It means a lot. I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.